we go. And thank you for the super sticker. Mystic with lipstick <laughs> writes, question, Jonathan, I may have been love bombed. What is that? I made it clear I was not expecting anything. I just wanted to tell him how I felt before I move. Okay, great question. Love bombing. Okay. Let me tell you, love bombing, I've done this a uh -huh, I've done this so many times I can't count. When a man is driven by lust or limerence, limerence, L-I-M-E-R-E-N-C-E, L-I-M-E-R-E-N-C-E, -E -E, limerence, means extreme infatuation. When a man is experiencing extreme infatuation or we're experiencing lust, we oftentimes are biologically unaware that we are in this state of extreme enthusiasm and we're not in our rational mind. And when we're feeling that, we just feel absolute love for another human being. And we do something, we just, love bombing is just showering someone with a ton of attention. Now it's wrapped in good deeds, like I want a relationship with you. I can see a future with you. Oh my God, I could see us getting married. Oh my God, you're the most amazing person on the planet. Oh my God, I've never met a woman like you. In fact, I've dated hundreds of women. You are the most different. You're the unicorn from them all. Have any of you heard that? I know I've said it. I've said it dozens of times. Not because I was, quite frankly, I wasn't in my right mind. When we're in lust or infatuation, we're literally out of our of consciousness and being we're literally driven by the biology or within us. And we'll do whatever it takes to quench that lust, that lust drive. And that's where love bombing oftentimes starts from. An unhealthy, unconscious approach to dating, mating, and relating. So now here's what I have to say. What about the woman who accepts love bombing? Well, she's got to take ownership on her part. I'm going to tell you something, ladies. What do men think about on every first date? What's the one thing on their mind that every single man on the planet thinks about on a first date? He wants to have sex with you. We are lust driven. Okay. So you got to take whatever comes out of our mouth as a, with a grain of salt, because it's not real until you've actually developed the roots to trust in a relationship. And that takes somewhere between three to six months at a minimum. So just recognize that when that happens, that does not mean true love. True love happens. Listen, true love happens when the person you're with is going through chemotherapy and you're wiping the vomit from their face. That's true love. True love is being there for your partner when they're going through a tough time. I had one client who, um, she just started dating a man and 30 days into dating, her son had an accident and died. Same as my son, same age, same, issue, same thing happened. And this guy just stepped right into this relationship because his emotional response, he could handle more emotional responsibility than the average guy. And he leaned into with her and he totally supported her. And within eight months, they got engaged and they got married or within a year, they got engaged and got married. So um, I'm here to say that huh, a lot of times we can only handle so much. Okay. And then some people can handle a lot. And true love is being there during the tough times, being there through the tough times, not the easy times. It's through the tough times. Thank you for that question. I truly appreciate it. Big hugs to you. Uh, by the way, I just got a new coffee mug. It says, sometimes you forget you're awesome. So this is your reminder. This was a gift from one of you out in the... Uh, YouTube universe. Um, on my website is the address to my company. And she, out of, out of the blue, I got this sweet gift from one of you beautiful souls. I can't thank you enough. I mean, I got to tell you lately, I've been getting a lot of little gifts in the mail. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I love my new mug and a reminder that I'm awesome. Thank you so much. Her name is Alice. Big hugs and thanks to you, Alice.